We've been through lots of challenges from construction challenges, um, hurricanes, and now pandemic. <laughs> we kind of met as a team and said, how do we do this? And we sort of all came at it from, well, we've done it before. And so we split the staff into basically two teams so that we wouldn't cross contaminate. We figured if we had to remove ourselves or that team from working, at least we'd have the other half that could work and maintain the turtles. I try to look at the silver lining. So the whole COVID experience has definitely brought it back to the beginning days of no volunteers, of taking time. Again, we're constantly running around doing many different things, whether it's surgery, exams, intaking animal, laundry being caught up. So it's been really great to step back and see the whole operation when you're working really essential. The major thing is that the research shut down. Most of the people in my lab are working from home uh, at this point. And so fortunately, there are some projects in our lab which are more computational. Uh, and so they've been able to uh, work remotely on those. Uh, but of course, all of the research that we do in the lab um, has had to stop. What we have during the pandemic, uh, the clans that I was spawning were in the hatchery. And then what we did was keep maintaining them, uh, feeding them. We had to grow the algae to feed them. And at that point, they just, we had to keep them going, maintaining all the life support systems going. It's an everyday operation, 24-7. I'm in charge of the maintenance and seawater system. So we get uh, seawater from the ocean. We bring it in and we pump it into a seawater tower. Gravity feeds through the labs and we have uh, sea turtles, we have a number of different kind of animals. It's very critical to the sea animals so we make sure that we always have pressure, make sure we have lots of flow. We monitor it all you know 24-7. If we don't have the seawater then you know, basically they would die. I have the most dedicated team and to see their dedication and pulling together it's awesome. So to see them really dig deep when it's hard right now, it's moving. It's really moving. So I have an amazing team um, that would do anything for the health and well-being of these animals. And that's awesome to see, and I'm proud of them.